What's up everyone? I'm Chandon Jonah, theistic Satanist and spiritual activist, and I'm bringing to you today the information needed about Citri to start working with him and get to know him a little bit better. If you want to know a little bit about my experiences with him and my personal gnosis about this spirit and with this spirit, then click in the link below that says uh, part two. So let's get into all of the nitty gritty. He is the 12th Goetic spirit, and that number does come in handy when trying to understand who he is, what he does, and how he goes about doing it. Um, he is a day demon, so contacting him in the night may or may not work out. Um, his uh, element is earth, direction, west, plant, hyacinth, planet, Jupiter, zodiac, cancer, metal is tin. Uh, he is strongest July 12th through 21st. His color is blue. His incense is cedar. And um, his inn is Lirash, Alora, Vefa, Citri. The spelling for that will be in the description box. And um, he specializes in love and lust. And to me, he is very grounding. Um, he does work better in... Uh, gay or lesbian relationships than like any other goetic spirit that deals with love or anything like that. He's more open to it. Um, some say that he does not like straight relationships, but I find that he doesn't really discriminate and that's why I like to work with him. That's why he's the first spirit that I decided to bring into this, but you'll find more about that in the part two. Um, I don't really have any other information to tell you except for the fact that you'll find a lot of misconceptions, a lot of mixed opinions and ideas on who the spirit is and how he works. Um, and you will find that he always appears to people as a leopard. Um, to me, it was a blue leopard and, um, he can also appear to you as a very, very sexy man who is a prince so he's wearing like gold bracelets and a gold crown and sometimes he doesn't wear a crown but he's always very uh he usually has a shirt off when he's in that um manifestation with me and the people that I've talked to about it um and he is very aggressive towards anyone who doesn't know what they're doing um, and doesn't research him and doesn't know um, how to respect him and his authority as a prince. Um, and if you assume authority over him, he will bite you. And you don't want to get bit by a um, giant cat, now do you? Um, let alone a king or a prince, I should say, of cats. So, he does love cats very much. He gets along great with the cat that I have and have had. And um, one thing that I should say is some people do report that in the lustful relationships or the love relationships, but more so the lustful ones, uh, that Citri has, you know, manifested into existence with you for you. Um, he tends to do it in a way that a leopard would, where um, leopards only come together to mate. They live separately in their own domains, and they only come together when they're horny, and then they fuck, and then they're done, and then they go to their separate ways. So that may be something to think about. Um, there's other spirits like Lucifer, and you know other spirits that may have an impact on the workings that you're doing if you're trying to manifest a love relationship instead of just a lustful one um, where you just kind of come together every once in a while when you're horny um, and the reason why I brought up Lucifer is because he is the um, god of the sun and Citri being a day demon he is ruled over by the sun if Citri was a night demon I would say to work with Satan in order to get what you want more so than just working alone with Citri, if that makes any sense. So, I hope you enjoyed this content. I hope that you click on the part two and get into the personal gnosis and experiences that I've had with Citri. And please share this video and like it. Leave me a comment. 
you know, let me know how you feel about this content. And if you want a different video about a different demon, let me know what kind of demons you want to hear about. Um, this daily demon thing is a daily thing. So I can always use more inspiration on what you guys actually want to hear from me. Um, I have Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I reply to messages as soon as I can. I try to go live on Instagram every single day. I've kind of been iffy on that the last couple days because I've been super, super busy. Um, but I am getting back into that starting today. And um, I also have an email for you to email me if you would like some spell work done or um, if you have any questions or if you want to collaborate with me. So... All of that being said, whoa, I just threw my headphones everywhere. Um, peace, power, and growth unto all of you. Horns up. Hail Satan.